Maybe if we ban all books, then no one will ever be offended again, and we will live in a perfect socialist utopia. Hey guys, welcome back. Andrew here. You likely saw this week that Dr. Seuss canceled six of their books permanently because of offensive imagery. The publisher says they were hurtful and wrong. But have you seen the images that are so offensive? Probably not. So let's take a look. And to think I saw it on Mulberry Street is the first book. And yes, it does sound like it was written by David Menzies, but unlike him, this is pretty inoffensive. Quote, a Chinese man who eats with sticks. Oh my God, the horror. But it does get worse, I'll admit it to you right now. If I ran the zoo, a Doug Ford autobiography? Folks, this is what I'm talking about. This is a new one. No, actually kind of racist, at least in this caption. Quote, I'll hunt in the mounts of Zomba Matant with helpers who all wear their eyes at a slant. There's not really any defending that, is there? No? Okay, I'm gonna move on. The next two are supposed to be about Inuits, but Dr. Seuss, the author, is from Springfield, Massachusetts, but that didn't stop him from referencing Canada. Hey, we're in a Dr. Seuss book, everybody. In Scrambled Eggs Super, some people are pictured in furry coats that are supposed to be Inuits, I guess. I'm not sure. All it says is that they are from 10 miles beyond the North Pole. A bit of a stretch here, I think. Quote, so I telegraphed north to some friends Fazol, which is 10 miles or so just beyond the North Pole. I feel like I'm just reading David Menzies' scripts here. You can't just make up words that rhyme Dr. Seuss. Fazol? Come on. In the book Miguel Gets Pool, quote, Eskimo fish from beyond Hudson's Bay is quoted with this image of fish and furry hoods. Okay, I guess given the geography, kind of offensive, but does Dr. Seuss realize that Hudson's Bay isn't the Arctic? You know, I'm starting to think that a lot of this content wasn't supposed to be taken seriously, you guys. In Beyond Zebra, which is not an artificial meat company owned by Bill Gates, I must stress that. What, you thought he was just supporting artificial meat because it's a good idea? Just eat the bugs, people, come on. In his book, a character called Nazim of Bazim is depicted, but no specific race or origin is given. But it just looks so offensive in some way. I'm not sure how, but in some way it must be racist. Which, of course, is what a secretly race person who hasn't come to terms with their own racism would say. This isn't to say he didn't print some highly questionable stuff, that Dr. Seuss, but for images like this, it was happening on both sides. Terrible depiction, yes, of its time, just like these Japanese depictions of allies, also, yes. Now, I'm with the Obamas on this one, Barack and Michelle. I'm okay with most of what Dr. Seuss wrote about. But if the own publishing company is taking their books down, aren't they sort of admitting that their own author is racist? So why not take it all off the market? Is a non-racist book from a racist author actually okay? These are the stupid questions one must ask when engaging in the erasing of history. So let's just ban them all. Let's ban all the books from the Bible to the Torah to the Quran, all offensive to certain groups of people, are they not? Besides, there's only one book that I actually trust, and that, of course, is The Fundamentals of Scientology. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you're interested in buying some of our banned books, like China Virus, go to rebelnews.com books before Amazon changes its mind again. They're going back and forth.